do 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 Won't you be my man tonight? Uh. Anyway, speaking of, uh, well, I don't know speaking of anything, but <clears throat> I want to tell this story. And it sort of just came to me. Well, I was poking around on uh, Twitter. And one of the wrestling guys, Corey Graves, he posted something to the effect of uh, whoever came up with the idea of putting uh, money under your children's pillow when they lose a tooth was a complete idiot. You know, he goes on and he says something to the effect of, like, uh, at least Santa frequents a different room, you know. And I got thinking about a time that happened to me. (laughs) Now... This, I mean, it's not really even a great story. It's just I, I just happened to be thinking about it and wanted to record it for, you know, whatever. <clears throat> now, you haven't heard the story because I haven't told you. Now, you, you got a picture. This is probably shit. This had to be... <sighs> fuck, I don't even know. I was probably 10, 11, 12. So this was probably... I don't know. 88... 87, close to 90, 1990, somewhere in there. Anyways, <clears throat> Dale T would, would work nights, basically, so he would go, get up around 10 o'clock, 10, 10, 30, get up and be there by 11. He had to go to Camden Wire. And then he'd come home around 7 a.m., and Back in the day, I'd you know I'd get up and go to school. He'd make he'd make omelets and shit. It was just it was this weird little moment. Like there wasn't a lot of moments with Dale T. But there was these moments, very few, where he, like I said, he'd make these 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 omelets and shit. And they weren't really a great omelet or anything because we never really had anything to put in it. We'd be lucky if we had the eggs to put in the omelet. So, <clears throat> anyways, so he he comes moseying in around seven thirty. And I hear him come in, I wake up, I look under my pillow, because now I had lost a tooth. I was a kid, or whatever, I don't know if I was 12, I don't remember what age I was. Um, I don't know, what age was I? I I've, whatever, I felt like I was 12, whatever, I don't even know, I don't even think you lose teeth at 12. No, you don't, what the fuck am I talking about? Whatever, I don't even remember when it was, who gives a fuck? I felt older for some reason, I don't know. <sighs> whatever, I had lost a tooth. And, oh shit, it was probably seven or eight, six, seven, four, whatever. Whatever, who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? It was a hundred million years ago. Anyways, who cares? <clears throat> so I get up, because I hear Dale T come home, and as I do, I'm like, oh, there's going to be some money under there. Because sometimes, like, I don't know, somehow my parents would, like, slip, like, an envelope under there and shit with some money in it. And I look, and there's, like, this old rotten, decrepit tooth. And I'm like... Where's my money, bitch? I literally woke up and I was, where's my money, bitch? <sighs> so as I get up and I tell DLT, I was like, I, I lost tooth. I put the tooth under the pillow. There's no t- there's no money. What the fuck? Where did the tooth fairy go? Where'd that bitch go? <clears throat> so I get up and I use the bathroom. You got to pee and whatnot. And when I when I come out of the bathroom, DLT's sitting in the chair watching westerns. And... It, he says to me, did you, did you check really good in your bed? I'm like, yeah, Dale T, I looked under the, under the pillow, there's nothing there. Why did you check between the mattresses? I'm like, what? what? This was the moment that I realized. I mean, keep in mind, I was a child at this, at this point. This was the exact moment that I realized there was no Santa Claus there was no Tooth Fairy, there was no Easter Bunny, it all came crashing down instantly. When Dale T said, did you check really well? And I said, yeah, I looked under the pillows, nothing there. And he's like, did you check between the mattress? <laughs> now, at that moment, I'm like, no, let me go check, and... Sure as shit, I reach my hand between the mattress and the box spring, and there's a bunch of coin under there. A bunch of coins, because usually the bitch would leave me, like, 20 bucks. You know, and my parents were generous, you know. 
my mother was generous. She she leave twenty bucks. Now obviously he didn't have twenty bucks on him. He had he had like you know nickels and dimes and quarters. There were, I mean it was like nickels, dimes and nickels, dimes and dollars go to children across the sea. Some by books and some by bubbles to the great BGMC. Remember that fucking song? Oh, you weren't there. Fuck you. But the uh, Assembly of God loved that song as a kid. <laughs> so and there's nickels and dimes. There's probably like a buck twenty under there. <laughs> And I'm like, the fuck is this? I literally got this handful of quarters. It, it wasn't even like a handful. It was maybe like two quarters, two dimes, and, a, and four nickels or some shit. It was in, in like three pennies. It was... it Because, <laughs> you know, he'd take money and he'd go to the vending machines and stuff. So he always had these nickels and dimes and quarters. And every time he'd walk around, you'd hear the ching 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 as the money would clink around in his pocket. I, I don't understand it. For, for like 30 years, the man had chingling in his fucking pocket. It was like, I mean, seriously, you could send him in the fucking temple. You didn't need to put the bells on him. You just send him in with a fucking pocket change. But, you know, whatever. So anyways. I come on, I'm like, what is this? He's like, I'm I didn't want to hurt his feelings, because it's like, it was one time he actually, it felt like he actually tried as a father, you know, like he actually went and is like, this is all I have on me at the moment, you know, I could write you a check kind of a deal. <laughs> and then I told my mother and she's like, oh, she must have forgot. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> she forgot all right. And Dale T completely like sent my entire childhood crashing to the ground. Because at that moment I realized like, okay, he did that. I realized he did it because... Why would he think, oh, did you check between the mattress? Oh, sure, and there's pocket change, and I always know he has pocket change. So it's like, he completely ruined it for me. But you got to give him credit for trying. You know, this is one of the few times I give him credit. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I wanted to tell you that story. I just, whatever, man. <clears throat> the fucking day Dale T put pocket change between... <laughs> between the mattress and the box spring because again you you come out of the bathroom and you're like what happened did you forget no should i should i put under my pillow the night you know the next night should i do it again tonight kind of a deal and all of a sudden he's like did you check really well and i was like yeah Dale, i looked under the pillow and he's like did you check between the mattresses <laughs> you got a picture of him with his teeth bucked out with his little stash perked up going did you check between the mattresses <laughs> Why would the bitch leave it between the mattress? Why would she leave it between the mattress? And it went out dark and her mix couldn't see it. I was like, oh, that right there was like, Burr. that's it. That's it. This guy's an idiot. <laughs> so, anyways, that was my childhood tooth furry story. The Dilty, the time Dilty fucked it up. Anyways, that's it. That's all I got. Fuck you. Short, short and sweet clip today, so.